More than 40 years ago, one fourth grade teacher wrote her 50 students' names on the blackboard daily to show them how special they were to the world. That kind of gesture has left such an indelible mark on one of her students that to this day, his preferred way to celebrate loved ones is to write their names on a blackboard. Let's face it, all of us have our internal blackboards. What is written on your blackboard today? Share them with AJ as he continues to profile selfless grassroots heroes around the world. These hauntingly captivating stories will change your life. Today is Mother's Day 2021, and it is my honor to give a special shout out to all the mothers around the world. Whether you are a birth mother, adopted mother, stepmother, grand or great grandmother, you need to take your bow. I did not grow up with my mother, her having left home when I was three years old. But I felt the love of countless mothers, somebody else's mother, who have loved me on and on, world without end, over the years. When all is said and done, I believe that there is a special place for grandmothers the world over. Two of my most golden recollections about my grandmother were sipping her ultra-tasty cardamom tea and watching her sing a special lullaby while rocking her grandbabies to sleep. Those were the times when literally all my senses were engaged. There was something magical about the taste, smell, sight and sound of mum, putting that special brew together, then later singing to her little ones like only a grandmother could. An early part of my life was spent living with my grandmother in Clarendon, rural Jamaica. Being a Kingston boy at heart, I just couldn't get used to country life. Nevertheless, Something remarkable has stood out from those extended trips. At seven years old, it was my job to fetch about five cardamom leaves daily from the vast cardamom field to the north of my grandmother's humble dwelling. As I braved my way through the lush bushes, soaked through and through with the early morning dew water, cascading from banana trees, dashing leaves, and tall grasses, I would harbor no resentment for trading my city life of street lights and warmth for that of pitch black nights, fireflies, and chills. The ultimate reward for those daily leaf picking errands was my enamel mug of moon tea which always brought a smile to my face. Aside from cardamom and ginger, mum tea was comprised of lemongrass or fever grass, freshly grated turmeric, brown sugar, condensed milk, almond essence, and rose water. The smoke from the wood fire added a rustic earthy note to the blend. A portion of the tea had to go through a series of aeration before it was given to the young children. As steam billowed from the yellow beverage, Mum skillfully poured one mug of tea into the next from an eye, blowing into the brew simultaneously. 
The grandchildren for whom it was being prepared waited patiently, unblinking, ready to swig on liquid gold. There's no doubt in my mind that the secret ingredient imparted during that process was love writ large. I've tasted many hot beverages, including my beloved chai tea over the past decades, but to date, none of them come close to mum tea, in my opinion. As for that lullaby, seemingly mum created her own musical scale of dinda do. I've never heard it sung by any other mother a grandmother aside from Mum. To this day, I'm still stunned by its powerful effects. Those three notes arrested numerous babies effortlessly, sending them to dreamland once they were in Mum's arms. Whether you call your grandmother Oma, Siti, Nona, Abuela, Bobby, Daddy, Nene, Popo, or Granny. Universally, this matriarch carries a lot of influence. Whether you are in Vietnam, Brazil, Australia, Poland, India, Nigeria, or Trinidad, you can hum along with Dinda Do because there is no language barrier present. It has no borders. The sound is haunting and cathartic at best. So today, even as the coronavirus continues to rear its ugly head near and far, I wish to dedicate this time-honored mum tea and lullaby to you. I entreat you to feel grandma's wholesome, unconditional love, albeit vicariously. For some of you, Grandma is no longer here on this earthly plane. And still for others, you are separated thousands of miles apart. Nevertheless, bask in a moment of peace and tranquility via this special love. I want you to be transported in time during some of your darkest hours when the loving arms of your grandmother steadied you, reassuring you that everything was going to be all right. Today is no different. The coronavirus will someday be history, but a loving grandmother's essence is worth a ton of gold during this epidemic. For those of you who did not or have never met your parents' mothers, allow universal grandmothers to stand in proxy, fill in the gap to welcome and comfort you. Allow them to collectively sing to you that ultimate lullaby. Know that it's never too late to be rocked in the comforting arms of a doting grandmother. I cannot guarantee that you will not shed a tear or two. But in the end, you will reap joy. For those children taking care of elderly parents and grandparents riddled with dementia, reverse the role every now and then. Become that grandparent who once sang to you Get in bed and hold your loved one. Singing dinda da da do to them while sipping a mug of mom tea. Now sit back, relax, and hear this melodious take of dinda da da do, sung especially for you, just the way mom sang it. Din da 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 do, din da 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 do, din da 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 do, din da da do, din da 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 do, 
Da 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 da